Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I would like to introduce you an Infinity Designer template which will help you to create seamless repeating patterns. Let's get started and download the template from my webpage. You will find the download link in the info box of this tutorial. Press this link to download the template. and open the template from your browser or from the Finder download folder. Press Command-0 to get a full view of the document. Let's have a look at the layer panel. You see four elements on the top level of the panel. In the title layer, you can change the title of the pattern. In the second layer, the drawing area, you are able to create your own pattern. This is the main part of this template. The next two elements are locked, or you should lock them. The captions layer holds the text element of the document and the preview layer holds several copies of the symbol in the drawing area. But enough with the opening speech. Let's create our first pattern. I would like to draw a hatching pattern, which I would like to use in other pattern too. So at the end of the tutorial, I will save the hatching pattern as an asset. So let's get started. I will move back my layer panel to the sidebar. I select the title layer. Press T for the text tool and double click inside the text element. And we'll type in hatching as a title of the document. You can leave the text element while pressing the escape key twice. At this point you should save your document with a new name. Therefore I press command shift and S. In the sample I will save the pattern with the name Affinity Designer Pattern Hatching. Now we will expand the drawing area in the layer panel. Here you see the symbol and this is a nice feature of Affinity Designer. It will Use all the elements inside a symbol on every other symbol of the same type. So these are all copies of one symbol and when you expand this layer you will see the text element inside my symbol. I turn it off to show you that it affects all other symbols. I turn on the grids with the short key command apostrophe. We will now zoom in to the drawing area while double click on this symbol. Now I will change the insert target to insert inside the selection. Select the pen tool with the key P and start to draw my lines as an area. I will fill my area with a black fill color, turn off the stroke and this is my first line for my hatching pattern. Now I will use power duplicate while selecting the move tool with the key V. And as you can see, this element is not part of the symbol. It's not inside the symbol. I will show you with command zero that this line do not affect all the other symbols. 
when I move this line into the rectangle inside the symbol, you will see that it will affect all other symbols or all copies of the symbol. I go back to the drawing area, select my curve or my black line and now with the move tool, turn on the move tool, no, V, I will make a copy of this and I will move the copy from here while pressing the shift key to the next point at the grid. And as you can see, I place it at this point. I will zoom out a bit. And now you can create several copies of this line while pressing Command J. Oh, it doesn't recognize. So let's get started. Command J. And now you can copy all these lines until you reach the top left corner. And the next step. I would like to take this line, create a new copy with command copy, command C and command V, move this line while pressing shift Oh, I missed my grids. Excuse me. Command Z. Command Z. And I will try it again. I have to zoom in to get a smaller grid. So once again, Command J. Select this copy, move it until you reach this point at this corner and then you press command J to duplicate the other copies. So the rectangle works like a cutting mask. And there we have our hatching pattern and if you zoom out to view the full document with command zero, you can see that you now have a hatching pattern. If you would like to save this symbol as an asset, you can use it in any other document inside Affinity Designer. So I have already created a new category inside my assets you can do this with this menu and you will find another tutorial I will link in the description below where I have explained the function of assets. You can create a new category and inside the category you can create a new subcategory and here you will see I have already hatching pattern here inside, but I will move this one to my palette or my panel and have a new one with a yellow background. With a right click you can rename the asset and you can write a name of your choice. Hatching pattern 45 degrees from bottom left to top right. Okay, so the export is explained here in the template. The only thing you have to do is to select 
the symbol or the drawing area. Press Command, Option, Shift and S for the export function. Select one of, let me say, one of these three file types. I prefer PNG. And then it's important under area that you select selection with background or without background if you use transparency in your pattern. I will choose this one and go to export. And here I will save my document in my download folder. And you can now use your pattern, for example, inside a fill. Let me create a new document. And inside this document, we will draw, let me say, a circle. While pressing shift, it's a round circle. And let me fill this circle with a bitmap. And I will select my hatching pattern. Open. And here you can see that you can now use your hatching pattern. You can rotate it, you can shrink it, and so on. One last thing. I would like to show you the color palette in the swatches panel. I have created one global color and with this global color you can change the background of your symbol. Double click and if you would like to have a different color, background color, you can use this global color and change the color of your symbol. At the end of my tutorial I have some news on the top right in the info box, I will provide a new playlist with Affinity Designer pattern. In these tutorials, I will not explain the function of this template, but I'm going to show you how to draw a nice pattern with this template. Don't forget to save your document, press Command S, and I would like to say thank you for watching my tutorials. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time at Mensch Mesh.